The Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. Acts 1.16, Acts 2, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place, the twelve apostles after Christ passed away. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, tongues, as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed, they asked, Are not all these men who are speaking Gileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in his own native language? Parthians? Medes and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pantos, and Asia, Paraguay, and Pamphylia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya near Cyrene. Visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and A Arabs. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own languages, which is tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, What does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. The Holy Spirit acts in Acts two seventeen. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. The definition of Pentecost is, well, it commemorates the time when the Holy Spirit came to the 12 apostles. It's known as the birthday of Christianity.